Welcome back to Afternoon Express. You're watching SABC3. As the highest accolade for creativity and innovation across the region, the Lurries is an initiative that recognizes, rewards, inspires, and fosters creative excellence in the brand communication and industry. To win a Lurie Award is a great achievement. As Executive Creative Director of one of the biggest ad agencies in South Africa, Sidiso Ranganka has a few Lurie Awards under his belt, and he chats to us today about what to expect from the 2016 Awards. Welcome to The Loft. Thank you so much. So lovely to have you with us. Cool, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so the Louis Awards have really grown in acclaim over the years. And why is it essential to have an event like this that recognizes creative excellence? I think the biggest thing that the Louis brings to the industry is setting a benchmark for creativity so that agencies know what to aspire to. Um, it helps raise the general standard of work that we put out there. Um, it also inspires the teams. Um, you know, because you see work that wins and the teams come back and they want to do even better. Uh, the other thing is that the Luris help give African and South African creativity a voice. Yeah. Um, and I think it's quite an important thing. Yeah, I mean, you have a few Louis Awards under your belt. How did you get into advertising? What drew you to it? Um, I got into advertising quite by chance, actually. Uh, I was studying journalism and um, I struggled with creative expression within journalism. I mean, that's a complete no-go. Yeah, it's, yeah. So uh, it's in, my final, in my final year, um, I picked up a pamphlet from one of the advertising schools and I did some research, ended up doing a one-year copywriting course and the rest has been history. You yeah. have a very funny story involving an A5 pamphlet. That was when I was still at varsity and it was, like I said, in my final year. And I had my whole journalism career ahead of me and I was walking back to res after one of those you know long lectures and i picked up this thing and i looked at it and you know it it resonated with me because uh the previous week one of the schools was on campus you know talking and talking to students about about the school and what it offers and it felt like something that i wanted to do so i went onto the internet it was pretty new then mm. so uh, i put my dial-up modem to work and researched what advertising was about where to go and study it i did a copy test so i did my own ads i had to write my own headlines wow. i had to draw my own uh, scams as we call it in the industry and that's what helped me get in Wow, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah. So as far as our local ad industry goes, how do we fare internationally? I think we fare pretty well. You know, the standard of, of, of work um, in South Africa and, and on the continent has been going up um, every year. And I think we do very well. We do very well at, at international award shows. Uh, quite recently, you know, there was a show that, that, that happened and, um, you know, a lot of a lot of South African agencies entered their work there and, and the results were great. So I think our work is on par with the best of the global agencies. Mm. I, think, I think what we need to do is make sure that you know, our work has a, has a uniquely South African voice about it and I think that's what will differentiate yeah, us yeah. from the rest of the world. What does it take to make a unique and award-winning ad? It starts with a very simple and clear brief from the client. You can't do anything without that. Right. Um, and once that's there, then it's up to the team to come up with an idea that is linked to an insight, usually something that resonates with the consumer. And then after that, you know, um, it's all about the craft. Once you've got the idea, make sure that the idea is as fresh as possible. And then you bring the idea to life um, through execution. And it's all about crafting it and making sure that it's the best that it can be. Right. Um, it has to be relevant for the media that you're putting it into, and it has to be relevant for the client. Um, that you're doing it for. Right. Yeah. And this year's Luris, what are the categories involved this year and uh, the entry dates? Or, yeah. Okay, so the usual categories are still on there, but what I'm really excited about is the, the new category. So the non-English work is now able to be judged and awarded across all sorts of categories. So in wow. print, in radio, in TV, PR, uh, media innovation, that excites me a lot. By non-English work, you mean our indigenous languages? Absolutely. It's incredible. So I think that's a great thing. Um, I think it, 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 it's going to be interesting to see the kind of work um, that, that is awarded um, across those categories. Um, and uh, as far as dates are concerned, the entry deadline for the Luris has been extended again. Thank you so much. Oh, it's been Until extended. the 31st of May. Uh, so it, it's quite soon. It's, it's just a couple of weeks. But, yeah. but 
you know, agencies do need that time to put together their best yeah. cases. That's absolutely incredible. Well, all the best for this year's Louis. Thank you so much. Uh, obviously, you guys are going to go big or go home because that's what the ad aid industry generally does, right? That's kind of what <laughs> we look forward to. Um, it's, it's kind of what makes it worthwhile. You know, you work hard every year. It's a very pressurized industry. Um, and it's two days to celebrate what we do best, which is, yeah. you know, creative work. So, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Wow. Thank you so much, City, so for joining us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So if you think you have what it takes to take home a Lurie Award, then the closing date is on the 31st of May, so get cracking. Deep South is about to perform for us.